You can go ahead and start your video. I'm trying. Post has asked you to start your video. Okay. All right, this is case number uh, two, three, five, nine, six, six, seven, zero, one. The people of the state of Michigan versus Demetrius Lam Lamar Green. Defendant is charged with one count of, of attempt police officer assaulting, resisting, and obstructing. And today is the date set for um, sentencing. Appearances, please. For the record, Your Honor, Christina Ritter on behalf of the people. And good morning, Your Honor. May it please the court. My name is Mark Brown. My P number is 39562. I appear on behalf of Mr. Demetrius Green. His attorney of record is Ben Gonick. Mr. Green, state your name for the record and let the judge know whether I have your permission to stand in for Mr. Gonick today. Demetrius Lamar Green. And yes, you have my permission. Thank you. Judge, Mr. Green and I have had an opportunity to review the pre-sentence investigation you, report. You're getting ahead of me, Mr. Brown, but go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. No, go ahead. You're just so efficient. Go ahead. I love you, Judge. When you when you went over the pre-sentence report, you saw that Mr. Green didn't show up. I it, certainly okay. did. I okay, saw. that's probably that could be why you you know real proactive. But go ahead. No, no, no I try to be proactive anyway. all the time. I know I really enjoyed the, you the way you practice, Mr. Brown. Go ahead. So so at any rate, right, Mr. Green, um, there were several um back and forth with Mr. Green and the probation department. I don't think there's anything um, intentionally trying to avoid completing the report. I think there were some missteps. Uh, Mr. Green has advised me that he did reach out. Um, and I know that the probation department did reach out to him. Uh, I think there's sufficient information upon which to um, base a decision as to the sanction in this case, um, based upon the information that's presented in the report. He does have several pending matters in 36th District Court that are scheduled. He's trying to do something about them. He advised me that he is also uh, attempting to work on his traffic uh, matters in um, Hazel Park, Warren, St. Clair Shores. He is a he has a GED. He has one prior conviction, which is, I believe, let me see, I can't do my math here, 2006. That's like 18 years ago. Uh, I advise him you should probably look for a <clears throat> go to clean slate, Operation Clean Slate, see if you can get that expunged. But no other uh, involvement. He was working at Detroit Chassis. Well, he might not be able to get it expunged because he, oh, well, he they had tried to, it, it was the hider that mm -hmm. was vote. I don't, well, I guess he could because it's probation closed. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. I would, I would hope he could. Uh, yeah. He, was working at Detroit Chassis. He's been laid off. He's uh, expecting to be called back. I, I don't think there's a specific date. Um, but um, I would say, uh, Mr. Green, I had an opportunity to interact with him before. He is uh, a, a bright and intelligent young man. I think that he has made um, some errors in judgment. Uh, he wants to put those things behind him and go forward. So I'd ask the court to uh, use its discretion to uh, sentence him accordingly. Ms. Ritter, any deletions, uh, additions or deletions from, on the pre-sentence report from the people's perspective? No, Your Honor, I don't see any on, on our end. And would you like to address the court as to sentencing? Uh, yeah, as part of sentencing, based off the information that the court does have from probation, um, there was a recommendation for an 18-month probation period. I'm asking the court to adopt that recommendation. Um, there was a recommendation for 12 weeks of anger management classes. I'm actually going to ask the court, instead of the 12 weeks, to do at least 16 weeks of anger management in this case, Your Honor. Just according to the police description of the offense, it looks like there was a disturbance for a police room. The officers appeared at the store. They came to contact with Mr. Green. Um, Mr. Green was a little, I guess, agitated or he was a little angry and upset with the officer, so he did approach one officer and grab the officer by their duty belt and began to push that officer. Um, just based off that description of the offense, Judge, uh, the people believe that there should be at least 16 weeks of anger management and the 18-month probation recommendation is fine. May, may I interject, Judge? Or well, you can uh, respond. I believe you can respond, yes, because I believe she's done. Go ahead. Okay, sorry. Good morning, Ms. Ritter. Um, I, judge, I... 
had the opportunity to review the video in this case. And I, you know, this is my my word. I don't, I'm saying my word because based upon what I saw in the video, there were two people involved. Mr. Green, a long time ago, my father told me, <laughs> mind your own business. And that's what somebody should have told Mr. Green to mind his own business because he's with his buddy and attempting with his buddy to get his buddy out of what uh, his involvement. The buddy was talking, 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 a long drawn out thing with the police, which I think escalated the matter. Mr. Green was not the instigator. Um, I think there he pulled away from someone from a police officer, but I, you know, the grabbing the belt and all that might've been the, the, the buddy. And I know it's written up in a synopsis form on this report, but I view the video. That's not what happened. And I'm not suggesting that, you know, this is a trial. It should not be here. I'm suggesting that what his involvement was, was one of, you know, what, what are you doing kind of thing? He resisted the police. Indeed. I don't think there's any suggestion that he was a person who was assaulting, battering, oppose, opposing, other than pulling his arm away from the police officer. I don't think he needs 12 weeks or 16 weeks of uh, anger management. I leave it in your discretion, but I just want to put that in there because I did look at the video and it's not it's not of the, uh, um, so he's the instigator or the person who's really involved in any active kind of uh, resistant obstructing. And what, um, Mr. Green like to make a statement on his own behalf? No. All right. Mr. Green, when I read these type of reports, I just cringe and just, uh, oof. I mean, having lived through at this point, I, I can't even, we lose count, which is unfortunate for us that we lose count because, you know, it always takes another tragedy for us to then call out somebody else's name. I sure would hate there to ever be a time, Mr. Green, where we're somewhere marching, protesting, going across Belleau Bridge, walking down to whatever, walking down Woodward saying, say his name, right? Say his name. I don't know a friend who could get me to... um. <laughs> if my friends start arguing with the police, I, I'm always going to walk away. I'm just going to walk away from them and be like, she's she done for no reason. Because why are we going to stand here and argue with the police? I know. Um, the police asked you all to leave the store. I don't know what it was y'all wanted to get out that store that day, but it was just not important. That wasn't even no grocery store. Like, it, it wasn't even like, oh, I need grocery. I need, it wasn't the pharmacy. Oh, I got to get my, my, my medicine. I got to get my, none of that. You, you out here fighting with the police to go back in the grocery, I mean, in the gas station. No, Mr. Green, your life is valuable, whether you want to believe it or not. And so when, I, I was disappointed reading your report on many levels. I was disappointed that your Haida got revoked previously. Um, I was disappointed that you didn't participate in the pre-sentence investigation. I was disappointed that another young African-American male is engaging in a level that could cost him his life. Uh, those things disappoint me. And I don't, I don't like them. You seem to me to be a very intelligent young man. Uh, and you, you could be one of those individuals who you know, when you look at the resume, you get ready to throw the resume in the trash and then somebody like Mr. Brown have to come and say, oh, you know what? I, I actually know him and he, I know what his resume looked like, but I'm telling y'all, if y'all give him a chance, he gonna take this company next level. Mm -hmm. But it'll take somebody to speak up on your behalf if you keep on messing up your resume. I don't know you, Mr. Green. And so all I have to go by is what I read and what yeah. I, so you, you got to do better because I mean, we've haven't had any major, major, like get on TV type of issues uh, in Detroit, but you know, we don't, well, I would never, I wouldn't want your, your, your parents, your loved one, your friends, your family, your whoever to be out there saying, say his name, Demetrius Green. You know, the only time we do that is the person dead, Mr. Green. Yes, ma'am. 
the person who name we calling, they're dead. So whatever the police, sometimes the police be on some stuff. Don't get me wrong. Oh, they be on some stuff sometimes. But then we have to look at the situation and say, you know what? I want us both to go home to that. I want yes. this officer who probably only getting paid, you know, way less than they can afford, or, you know, way less than they should. Some of that Super Bowl money should funnel back in. I, I'm not going to get on that. I'm not going to get on that. <laughs> to the police and stuff and the teachers. But, uh, you know, we want everybody to, to, to stay alive. I have friends that are on the police force. I have, you know, young people who, you know, want to argue with the police. So, uh, Mr. Brown, but I also believe in another chance, a second chance, a third chance, because if somebody didn't give me a chance and the people discount me, you know, I wouldn't be where I am. So I'm hopeful that because also when I read the precinct report, which, again, I didn't have necessarily the benefit of your perspective, um, I said, oh, he's not a good candidate for probation. I was looking at I was like, oh, he got outstanding warrants. He got his probation report. He's not a good candidate for probation. That's what I was thinking in my mind. So that's I was waiting to, you know, see what was going to happen today. And Mr. Mr. Um, Brown did a great job standing in for Mr. Gonick, don't you think? Yes, ma'am. I think so. Because <laughs> he convinced me. He did convince me. And so I did go ahead and um, uh, a staple a probation form to your PSI. Okay, so... Um, okay. I am going to am, I am going to follow the recommendation of probation. I'm going to sentence you to an 18 month probationary period with a final review date of August 19, 2025. However, uh, you are eligible for early discharge, Mr. Green, after only doing nine months of that probation. So, if you want to get discharged early, um, your your nine month review date one two three four, six, seven, would be November. Oh, that's right around Thanksgiving. I'd be in a good mood. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Green, if you catch me around Thanksgiving. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to be in a good mood. That's the week before Thanksgiving. Oh, I, I'm going to be just thinking about that food. I'm, I'm not going to even tell you no lies. Um. So I'm going to set your nine month review date for Thursday, November 21st. And that's the date that you will be eligible for early discharge. Um, the terms of your probation are as follows. You shall not violate any criminal law of any governmental unit. You cannot leave the state of Michigan without consent of the court. You must make a truthful report to probation on a monthly basis and notify them immediately of any change of your address, phone number or employment status. Sir, you will pay the following fines, costs, and fees. You're going to pay Mr. Flanagan. Yes, Your Honor. Call Mr. Uh, Dupree back and tell him I'm ready for him. Okay. He was here. Now he's gone. Okay. Sir, you're going to pay $210 mandatory costs. You are going to pay a $350 fine. No restitution. Your oversight fees for 18 months is I'm going to give you that amount, but know that oops. So the total for 18 months is $630. But if you get discharged, for example, at the halfway point, um, we will prorate that. So I'm going to tell you the amount that you have to pay in order to be discharged uh, at nine months. The court is going to impose a $50 pre-sentence investigation fee. And uh, I am going to impose, let me see. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to add, um, I'm going to add $30 your analysis fees. And what I'm doing by that is you're going to have to submit to your analysis for three months for me. Three. I held up two fingers. I meant three. Three months, okay. and then if I'm satisfied with the results, if probation is satisfied, then you uh, can they can stop your testing. So I'm only going to do three months at ten dollars a test. So your total fines, costs, and fees are
$1,270. In order to be discharged after nine months or at the nine month point, I should say, at nine months, then you have to have paid $955. So if you pay $955 by, at the nine month mark, um, then if you're done with everything else, um, you can be discharged. Sir, you shall not use or possess any illegal substances. No marijuana without a valid medical marijuana card. No opiates without a valid prescription. Do not drive without a valid driver's license. I am going to order uh, anger management, but uh, I agree with you, Mr. Brown. I don't think I need to increase it. Um, and in fact, uh, I am going to decrease it. Uh, I'm going to order only, so I usually do 12. I'm going to order <clears throat> eight weeks of anger management, eight, eight sessions of anger management, but I'm also going to order the choices program. And I think that might've been recommended. Yes. The choices program through eBay, just an analysis, a reflection of the type of choices that we make. And Mr. Rice does a phenomenal job uh, with that program. Sir, you have to pay all outstanding tickets you have with 36th District Court. According to this report, you have a balance of $748.80. You can either pay them in full or um, it is sufficient for my purposes to discharge you from probation if you're on an approved payment plan through 36th District Court. So okay. you can pay in full or get on that payment plan. You must clear up all outstanding warrants. And as a condition of this probation, um, you must keep your court date of April 9th before Judge Perkins. Uh, so you have several matters with Judge Perkins on April 9th. So keep, you have to make that court date. Additionally, okay. I, I want you to make a court date, if that's what you need to do, to clear up the warrants in 43rd, 37th, and 40th. The thing about it is, Mr. Green, you 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 in out there, and even though they are for traffic, uh, some some um, officers will arrest you on the traffic warrants and some of them won't. So, yes. you know, you just don't want to put yourself in that situation. Um, your license is currently suspended and you probably can't get your license back without clearing up those warrants. Yes. Um, and then let's see. There was a recommendation for 10 days of community service and there was a recommendation for no alcohol, but of course, I'm not going to order no alcohol and uh, I'm going to hold the community service in abeyance. If you do everything you need to do and we, I don't have any issues with you, then I I won't order the community service. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. Uh, according to the report, you live on Bringard. Is that, do you still live on Bringard? Yes, ma'am. All right. We're going to mail a copy of the court's order to that address. And then according to the report, your phone number ends in 5754. Is that still your phone number? Yes, ma'am. Then we're going to, uh, probation will contact you at that phone number. Anything further? No, ma'am. Not from the people, Judge. Thank you. Oh, Your Honor, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to see you, Judge. Always a pleasure, Mr. Brown. All right, then you both have a great day. Stay safe. Mr. Green, come on now. We don't want to be marching. We don't. I don't okay. want to be marching to have to call out okay. your name, okay? And thank also, you, we have Mr. Green. Like the pre sentence yes. report, when they call, what you got to call back that day. Okay. And the, next day, and the next day, and you keep calling. Okay. Okay. And if you haven't Please. heard from them, Mr. Green, call the 36th District Court, call my courtroom. We'll get you in touch with who, who you need to get in touch with. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Judge. All right. You're welcome. Have a great day. Stay safe. Thank you very much. Thank you. Why? Okay.